hey welcome to this youtube channel in this tutorial real quick i want to show you this free chrome extension that will help you clone any website online for offline viewing you have that website live on your local pc and in case you want to even take it a step further i'll show you how you can make necessary edits to that cloned website and also have it live on any website of your choice if that's exactly what you're looking to do in this tutorial uh, then let's get started started without wasting time dashwood.com here is one of my websites so i have a demo content live on this website so i want us to use this website for demonstration purpose and uh, also we can come to a uh, chrome store you can just go to chrome.google.com slash web store you should be able to come this or just search for chrome web store in your browser in your chrome browser you should be able to come here we'll be searching for an extension called web page cloner we will have this extension here called web page cloner so we'll click this we can just easily just add this to chrome add extension so done we can see here this extension has been added to chrome this is redirecting me to a survey i can just literally close this and if we want this uh extension back we can just clone this and then we can come to our web page cloner and we can pin this so that we'll have this here so once we're on the live page that we want to clone what we need to do is just come to the icon here and click it and then you can see it will highlight all the pages existing on the website uh, so uh we can just uh, we have the home page for some weird reasons i can see that is cloning is showing this twice i don't know why that is but we can just uh choose the home page the about page services page and the contact page uh these four pages is enough and what we have to do is just hit the start downloading button and then you can see that we have this page downloading all right so you can see all of this downloaded so we can just click this to open this up in our computer so we can see here we have these pages here so if we open this so you can see we have a page here isn't this fantastic so let's come back here and let's come to our about page and see if it's exactly the same thing so you can see this is it this is the who we are and is literally the same thing i have here on my local computer so now the question is what if you want to make some changes to this and maybe also upload it on a live website you want to own this kind of template uh, so how do you that let me show you exactly how to do that real quick this is the page we just opened the about page here so what we are going to do right now is to right click on this if you have any code editor software you can use that i love to use note notepad plus plus for the purpose of this example let's use a default notepad so that i would not miss you so if you come back here we open with so you can see we have option for notepad so let's open this up in a notepad so this is uh our website files opened up in a notepad it would have been more decent if we are using a code editor right now i can close this and then i can come to the page so this is the first thing here is who we who are we so let's say we want to change that so i can just do ctrl f right now to open the find function and then i can type who are we then let's find that text so you can see uh default so you can see here who are we so i may want to change this to i am dabs so that's it um i can then close this i can hit the file option here and then save so that's it so let's come back here and let's refresh this so you can see this has changed to i am dabs so this is literally how you can make changes to this website unfortunately we won't be able to make changes to images here because uh this cloner is taking this image from our live website so if if i open this image now in a new tab for example i would see that this image is still linking to dabsbook.com so there is no way i would be able to make changes to it if this have been able to clone the image uh, then it would have been easy for us to replace the image and do some basic settings but if you are keen about changing images changing some settings i have a ton of tutorials around website cloning that would help you i have a lot of tools that will help you clone website completely you can change the image you can do so many things with them and also if you're not comfortable editing your website like this maybe you want you prefer to have them in a content management system like wordpress 
WordPress. I also have a ton of tutorials that would show you how you can clone a website and turn them to WordPress literally for free. Uh, so you can check uh, also the video description for my playlist around website cloning that will show you all of these tutorials. That being said, uh, let's continue with this tutorial. The next thing we want to do right now is for us to see how we can upload these uh, downloaded files to a live website and have them live. So I have a page here called mycbmastery.com. It's just it is hosted with Ostinga and is showing a default page here. Nothing has been installed on this website. So I want to host a downloaded website on this domain. So right now I can come back to Ostinga. So you can also check uh, the video description for you to see a link to Ostinga. Just in case you don't have one and you want to buy, uh, you also see my coupon code that will give you a good discount. And that's an affiliate link. That's the support you can give to me. I will appreciate if you can do that. So let's say for example I want to upload this. What I want to do is just come down to files. Uh, in case you're not using Ostinga, you're using any host other Ostinga account, just go to your control panel and search for file manager. Uh, you can open that up so right now i will just uh access cbmastery.com files alone so that's it and then once uh, my file manager opens up like this i will just go to my public underscore html is literally the same thing with every hosting just look for your public underscore html so this default.php file here is what is displaying this so you can see the page here is saying default page and so if i click this right now and right click this and then delete this away uh, the file is empty now if I come to my live website here and I refresh this so you would see that that page is gone literally it's not saying forbidden because there is nothing to display on the file manager so what we are going to do right now is come back to file manager and then upload back uh, the files we downloaded back into this place so I can just come here and just come to upload or and then go to my file or i can just open up my file and just drag and drop and paste them directly into this place but let's just go this route so i have my page here and then i can just easily just copy this and then i can open this up and then you can see four of those files are now uploading to my public underscore html so right now you can see that we have our website uh, files uploaded here but this is saying download.html so let's come back here and uh, let's refresh this page right now you see that nothing would come up uh, but let's load this now and say slash download dot h so you can see our contact page just got loaded uh, so that's exactly how to load this so we can just come back here and download.html so we can easily just rename this and just change this to contact so that's it so you can see we now have this loading contact isn't this beautiful so so that's it guys this is exactly how it works so you can see how super simple it is using this chrome extension to clone any website there for offline viewing and make some edits to it and have this website live so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any issues let me know in the comment section and that's my time for this video i have loads of tutorials on our website cloning you can check them out i believe that would help you and you can also hire me to clone your website for you in case you are unable to clone the exact website that you want and that's it Keep cloning, have a nice time.